Peter Stoke will be proper English. Mario Grande. So, this week, I took a little personal time from work while my wife and kids were gone to my mother and father-in-law's. And uh, there was a big football game down there. My wife wanted to go his first game of the season there, high school football, a big football town. And uh, she wanted to go, you know, see all her friends. And it was a big turnout, always is, first game of the season. And uh, so they went back there. I uh, took that opportunity to uh, take a small trip to Birmingham. And while I was there, I visited the Briary. I've always wanted to go to the Briary. Um, I've been to several brick and mortars around, you know, within a hundred mile radius of myself, but I've never been to the Briary. I, I saw the ad in Pipes and Tobacco magazine seven years ago or so. And just now making my way over there. The soundtrack for this video will be supplied by my uh, one year old who's beating and banging on things. But had a really good time. It was fun. Uh, there, it's uh, it's an old uh, farmhouse built in the uh, late 1800s, and uh, it, you know they just it's a big smoke shop. They have a big humidor and just countless pipes. You, uh, yeah, you'll see it in the video, but I mean it is, it is a true pipe smokers haven. That place. <laughs> you almost got the camera, bud. <laughs> Missed by an inch. So anyway, um, I took some video. The the manager, John, was his name. He was nice enough to allow me to uh, to film the place. I mean, he's he's a great guy. He was he was uh, very conversational and uh, fun guy. Real fun. The whole staff very accommodating. Nice people. Amazing tin selection. Uh, they, they had some old iron sides there, Dan Tobacco. Uh, that stuff, I believe, has been discontinued. And it is a Latakia bomb. So I got a can of that stuff. And it is it's fantastic. But I don't even know how long it's been there. So I don't know, you know, it's got some age on it. I'm sure it has some age on it. But it's, it's good. I also tried uh, Peter Stokeby's uh, Luxury English, and uh, not so much. I don't know, it's just something Something didn't, didn't agree with me. So, uh, I'm done with that. But that, that's why I like brick and mortar, you know, you just go in there and try all the bulbs and see what you like, what you don't like. But, uh, Anyway, they're actually pretty reasonably priced too. They start three dollars an ounce on their bulk, and then it's uh, the break, the price break is at four ounces. It's ten bucks for four ounces. That's that's fairly in line with uh, online prices. But tens are a little higher. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the uh, the footage I got of the store. I tried to get everything in. You know, they were closing up shop when I started to film. Uh, I was there for a while, but I didn't film until the very end, so. Mm -hmm. There's just a vacuum cleaner running in the background at one point in time, and me and the manager just uh, chit-chatting a little bit doing the video, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is the Briary's house cat. Stays here all day long. I don't know his name. I'll have to ask the uh, manager. This has got to be one of the best smoking lounges I have ever seen in a brick and mortar. Other couches everywhere.
Got a video of your cat, because that was uh, pretty unique. Every Thursday or just this Thursday? Every Thursday is supposed to be pipe making day. Day dedicated to nothing but making pipe. Tells me that he wasn't able to make a pipe. <laughs> Alright, humidor. We got a fantastic selection here. All the pipe bulks down at the bottom. You hear the vacuum cleaner in the background, they're about to shut the place down manager was kind enough to let me shoot this right before I closed up shop it's an old outhouse the briar is built back in the uh, late 1800s I can get the farmhouse. Got a very good shot. We're gonna get it from up in the front. Better view of the farmhouse and my car. Birmingham skyline. On my way out down the interstate.